Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upper Comedy I'm back with another Dokkan battle video. And today, I've got a quick news update for my fellow global players out there. And guys, I am super, super excited to announce that it is looking more and more likely that the STR base form Gogeta will finally be making his way over to the global side of the game for part two of the thank you celebration. And of course, Nothing is officially confirmed right now, we don't have any in-game news about it or anything like that, but there are quite a few signs that are pointing towards this guy's imminent release on Global, and I mean there are three main reasons why people think this, alright? The first one is that the AGL Wrathful Broly's Extreme Z Battle Event is now no longer available, and this guy does require the medals from that event to Extreme Z Awaken, so that's one indication, and that's a pretty strong indication, I'd say. And the second thing is that the Dragon Ball Super Broly story event is now no longer available either through the Portal of Memories, so you can't access it with keys anymore. And if you guys didn't know, the way you acquire this unit on JP is by farming a new stage that was added to that specific story event. And you could argue that the reason they took it down on Global is to add those new stages and make this guy available, right? So that's the second sign that he's coming. And the third thing, and honestly it's the one that gives me the most confidence about this theory, is the fact that the legend himself, Kawhi on Twitter, has said earlier today that there are a series of elements or signs that strongly imply the arrival of the EZA Gogeta on Global. And of course, we already got the summonable STR Gogeta's Extreme Z Awakening a while back, so the only Gogeta he could be referring to is the base form for you to play Extreme Z Awakenable Gogeta, alright? So those are all the reasons why it looks like base Gogeta is finally coming to global, and I, like I said, I am really, really excited about this one, probably my most highly anticipated free-to-play units that we don't have yet on global from JP and uh, let's take a look at him guys because I know a lot of people are excited about him too but some people maybe don't know what he does so uh, let's take a look all right so what you see on the screen right now is the form he drops in when you first farm him and you might notice that the card art is taken directly from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie right after Goku and Vegeta successfully fuse into Gogeta, and I gotta say, I really, really like this art, guys. I just love that smug-ass grin on his face, and I kinda wish that this was the TUR art, but unfortunately, you will lose this once he Dokken Awakens. I'm not saying that the Dokken Awakened art is bad, I just like this one more. But anyways, he does get a Dokken Awakening upon launch, and he becomes this right here. So we have Breaking Into the Final Stage Gogeta, and this is the TUR form of the free-to-play uh, farmable Gogeta. And his leader skill is Fusion Category Key plus 2, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 50%. Oh, actually, no. That's before his uh, Extreme Z Awakening, and I could go through all the details for pre-Extreme Z Awakening and post-Extreme Z Awakening, but there's not really a point. So let's just look at the post-Extreme Z Awakened details. By the way, as I said earlier in the video, um, to Dokkan awaken him, or sorry, to Extreme Z awaken him, you need medals from the AGL Broly Extreme Z battle event that is not available on Global right now. So like I said, a big indication for uh, this guy's release, right? And all the medals you will need to Extreme Z awaken him are shown here. So you will need the Broly medals, the blue Goku medals, and the blue Vegeta medals to uh, get him fully done. And it's going to take a bit of grinding, but it's going to be totally, totally worth it. So uh, let's go over to his details now. So leader skill is fusion category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or STR types key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 30%. And his super attack is Kamehameha Extreme, which raises attack and causes supreme damage to enemy. And this can be stacked infinitely, or at least for 99 turns. So every time he supers, he will raise attack by 30% for 99 turns. And his passive is Vigorous Voltage. Attack and defense plus 77% plus an additional 
attack and defense plus 20%. When there is a Goku's family category ally on the team, plus an additional attack and defense plus 20%. When there is a Vegeta's family category ally on the team, attacks effective against all types. When there is a movie boss's category enemy. And his links are Saiyan Warrior Race, the Saiyan Lineage, Over in a Flash, Shocking Speed, Fuse Fighter, Kamehameha, and Shattering the Limit. And his categories are Fusion, Movie Heroes, and Kamehameha. Now, one thing you might have noticed from that passive is that it does restrict him a little bit if you want to get the full um, power or like you want him to be at his full potential. Because in order to get the full boost from his passive, the only team that makes sense to run him on is Movie Heroes, since on Fusions, there aren't any Goku's family or Vegeta's family units, or at least very few of them. There might be none, actually. And of course, for Kamehameha, you can get a lot of Goku's family units, but you can't get any Vegeta's family units. So, like I said, the only team that makes sense is Movie Heroes. And uh, that being said, if you do get him on a Movie Heroes team with at least one Goku's family ally and one Vegeta's family ally, then he'll be very strong, especially for a free-to-play unit since um, he'll be getting 117% attack and defense and also have an attack stat of 14,127 when rainbowed and uh, fully extremes he awakened, right? So uh, the combination of those two will make him a very, very good free-to-play unit, but I don't love these restrictions on his passive. I, I really wish they would have just given him like 100% attack and defense, just kept it simple, and that would make him a lot more viable for different teams, right? Now, like, with the current passive he has, um, he's very, very limited. And when it comes to movie heroes, there are so many OP units in that category that he's most likely not gonna find a place on your team unless you're a uh, newer player or you're, like, completely free to play and haven't pulled a lot of, like, other OP movie heroes units. But, like I said, it's a very strong category, so it's going to be hard to give this guy a spot unless you intentionally kick someone off that's probably better than him to include on the team. Um, it sounds like I'm like really hating on this unit, doesn't it? But I, like I said, I'm excited for this unit. I really want to add him to my collection, but uh, I also want to point out the faults of the unit if they're there, right? And there are definitely a few issues with this unit. That being said, he is a very, very good free-to-play unit, and he's freaking base Gogeta, right? That alone should make you guys excited for this too. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video, guys. Base Gogeta finally making his way over to the global side of the game. Probably should have happened a long time ago. You know what? Let me just quickly put a disclaimer out there. I don't know for 100% sure, alright? I would say like there's a 95% chance Kawhi definitely seems to think so. Um, and there are definitely very, very strong signs that he's making his way over. But there's always a chance that it doesn't happen. There's always a chance that Bandai will delay it further for some reason. So I'm not going to say it's guaranteed, but I'm going to say it's very likely that the base free-to-play Extreme Z Awakenable STR Gogeta is coming to global for part two of the thank you celebration and another thing to look forward to man on top of the fact that we may be getting Kellen Khalifla, we may be getting the universe 6 story event and some other awesome stuff too so uh that's it guys that is the video for today once more information comes out once more concrete information comes out about this guy and also the Kalen Khalifla and the Universe 6 story event and all that stuff. I'll uh, definitely keep you guys posted in a future video. But for now, that's going to do it. As always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.